Hey bird nerds, how we doing? <clears throat> Sorry, it's early morning. Kind of got a frog in my, in my throat still. Um, just uh, just want to bring you a quick update. So we've got the got the birds in like you guys saw the last video. Um, glad to hear um, a lot of people take value in the videos and, and they help you. That's that's the whole goal, right? So we, we want to share our knowledge on breeding and taking care of our birds and uh, making sure that they're healthy and and that we're able to enjoy them, right? So that's the that's the whole goal and, and purpose, uh, at least for me, in, in keeping in keeping birds aside from the the pure enjoyment that it brings to me. So, just wanted to kind of bring you guys an update. So, we got the cage built. I need to clean it. Um, we need to, <clears throat> or some of the birds with the move have definitely struggled, and. Um, Mainly my Goldians and my Canaries, uh, the the move really stressed them out. I mean, it was it was kind of a it was kind of a a, <clears throat> a really quick process, a a two week thing that um, that we had we had to really we packed the birds up really quickly. We moved them over to this one. I had them in the small cages for a few days until I could finish this aviary. The, the move wasn't planned. It was just kind of an unexpected thing. Um, <clears throat> so I had to, as quick as I could, you know, kind of create this, this mini aviary here, just to at least house them until I could, until I can finish everything else. And so you can see I've got, um, I've got all my cages in and I've got cages here. We've got lights behind them. I don't have any birds in there, so that's why it's it's kind of dark. It's kind of dark in this. We've got lights behind there. You can you can see I have them right there. So they're all along the backs of the cages. I also have lights up top on both sides. So um <clears throat> so that'll be that'll be nice. And I think one of the things that we're planning on doing is this section here we're going to enclose off. It'll be down. So it's about 3 feet deep and you've got about five feet wide and about five feet up. Um, and so I'm thinking of enclosing that off there and also on this side as well. So they kind of are mirror each other. And I think what I'm gonna do, here comes Pink Lemonade. He wants to say hi for the morning. Say hi. Um, what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> we're gonna finish that off. I'm gonna close the door so Pink Lemonade doesn't keep flying out. We'll show you on this side. So we're gonna close it off, and then I'm gonna on this side I'm gonna I'm gonna put my my grass keats in here, my scarlet breasted keats. There's my male. I'm gonna put them in there to breed, and then on this other side I'm gonna do my my rosy borks, and I I think I'm gonna mix up my pairs. So I've got this male here. He seems to have bonded with lollipop my sweet girl right here, and she's ready. She, she, she'll she go fly up next to him and she'll crouch down, um, at, you know, in a, in a position for him to mount her. And he's trying to feed her through the wires and things like that. So um, so I think that's what we're gonna do there. And and they should kick out some really pretty colors. She's, a, she's an opal, and I believe he is split, if I remember correctly. So, so hope, I'm hoping that, um, you know, we can, get some some good breeding there once I can get those finished and, and get those get the wires put up and so that's that's on the to do the to do list this next month I'm not in a super big hurry um winter is starting and even though my my one rosy bork pair they probably would be they probably are ready and, and they would breed for me I, I think I'm gonna try and push them throughout the winter and kind of do a, a big spring push with all my birds, especially my with like I said earlier, my goldians and my my canaries. They they took the move pretty rough. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to show you some of the some of the medications that I'm using to strengthen their immune system, get them back up to par, um, and give them the break that they need and, and a good winter's rest before before we really push the breeding and, and just make sure that they are. Um, ready to go and, and healthy as can be. So we'll probably do a, a similar format as, as I had my old place. I'll, I'll probably, you know, my Goldians and Canaries will we'll pull out and we'll throw in the, the breeding cages that we have here and also on this side here. 
So we'll, we'll put those together and, and be able to breed them in those. And then um, same with the canaries. My shaft tails did really good last year in um, breeding in the aviary. So I will add um, kind of a similar layout of those nest boxes. You know how I, I, I built the big long nest boxes and I had three different nest sites within that. It's like a big long rectangle. And they really liked that. And I, I had some really good success there. I mean, last year they, I had two pairs that bred for me and they both kicked out two clutches of three each. So <clears throat> I got nine babies last year for my two pairs. And I actually have a third pair of shaft tails here um, that um, I can potentially set up for as well. And, and I could even, I mean, these, these are big enough. I could probably set them up in there and, and have similar success. So my male canary is just down there resting. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of the plan there. I've toyed with the idea. I, I have several pairs of society finches and technically they, they probably could, I could throw them together right now and they would start breeding for me. I think I'll wait a little bit. I might, um, you know, maybe wait till January so the, the birds are a little bit more in the routine. Maybe I'll pull my societies out and, and try and breed them until, you know, until the spring months and I'll swap them out with my Goldians and Canaries. Or we may just keep them in here all winter. Not quite sure. Um, just just kind of trying to play with, with uh, um, just trying to, you know, look at my options and, and see, you know, what decisions we can make as, as the winter goes on. I have been reducing my lights. Hi, Mikey. I have been reducing my lights so that I, uh, just gonna focus, there we go. So that I can um, send my canaries into, into their full molts for the year and, and also my Goldian finches um, so that they can get some good rest and then hopefully by, by the time spring comes, um, we can, we can start breeding. So um, just real quick on, on some of the things that I've been giving my birds for with the move. We'll turn these lights on over here so we can get a little bit more light in here for you guys. Um, just some, some medicines that, that I feel like are essential. Um, every, anytime your birds get stressed out, especially in canaries and goldians, mites seem to pop up. And in my old place, I did try and keep them on um, a quarterly rotation where I would feed feed them, you know, I'd either scat them or, or S76 them in their water, um, which, which typically um, kept the mites to a minimum um, for the majority of my birds. Every once in a while I'd have probably like, you know, like an older bird would get sick. Um, so, so those are two medicines that, that I'm using. They currently have, they're on their second week now of, of S76. So I've got that in their water. And I just have some dry foods. I, I don't give them any of the wet egg food at, um, so that the birds will, uh, they won't just eat the, the wet egg food and, and then, and not drink the water. Um, so I give them some of the dry food that will encourage them to drink the water more. Um, also another, another great medicine is the MV powder. So this is just a kind of a, a good um, system stimuli that, that kind of helps boost their systems, gives them strength and energy. So usually um, we'll give them that MV powder right before I give the, the S76 or the SCAT. So it kind of builds up their immune system and then it gets them ready to, to be able to fight off, you know, the mites with the medications and stuff like that. Also another, another thing that I um, really like is, um, especially around here, our, our water tends to have a lot of chlorine and stuff in there. So I do try and, um, you know, use a, a mega mix water cleanser to, you know, keep the birds safe and as, as healthy as I can. And then, um, I do have a couple like broad spectrum antibiotics that, that I do use in, um, in hopes to, <clears throat> in hopes to maintain the health of my birds and, and keep them going. So, so those are, those are just some a couple medications that I keep on hand readily all the time. And really with the S76 and your SCAT, it is important, even if you have healthy birds, it is important to do routinely maintenance, right? Just to stay ahead of the game, keep up on it, don't allow it, you know, it's just like humans, right? We, we try and eat healthy and take our vitamins, 
even when we're not feeling sick to hopefully prevent any sickness from coming down the road. So that's kind of the goal behind that and in hopes that we can, um, you know, always stay ahead of it and keep the birds as healthy as we can. So, but that's kind of the plan that we have here. We're gonna, you know, get the birds up to, up to par as far as their health goes. Um, I have been reducing my lights, so they're down to, I, I, and I've just been mimicking the sun. So we're at about, <clears throat> probably about nine and a half hours of light right now. So that's about where their lights are. Um, so we should start seeing the canaries start to molt here pretty quick. Um, and I have had some that are molting already. We've got quite a few feathers around. That one down there is molting uh, quite a bit. So, so and this, this dude right here. So both my male canaries right there, they're molting. So hopefully that'll help and uh, also will help kind of reset our golden finches. They, they molt here pretty soon anyways, so um, hoping for a good outcome there and then we can get our birds nice and ready for, for springtime. But I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll be posting some more videos updating with me finishing these cages and getting them ready and building some of those new nest boxes for us so that we can um, show you what we're going to do for some of my other birds that I'm going to try and breed in the aviary that you can see. So appreciate guys. Thanks for watching.